Hey guys, welcome to Power and Speed. We're going to be hitting that resistance harder than ever today. And I'm not going to hold back with the speed. So without further ado, reach down. Make sure you have at least three to four turns on the resistance. Find the speed. Let's go. Up to third. Rise up. Come on. In third position, your hands are high, shoulders are down. Elbows coming in. Your knees are behind the resistance knob. Your hips stretching to the back of the saddle. The lower lumbar is long and flat. There's absolutely no curve in your spine. You're pressing down through the palms to feel like you're in a high plank position. Remember, minimum three to four turns right now. You have everything that you need to be successful. Water, towel, weight. Now drop the elbows, elbows come in. One right, one left, go. One tap, one push up, get it. When you tap back, your hips travel back. When you push up, the elbows go out and you hinge from the waist. Double it up, go. Hey, come on. Four, three, two. In the saddle, in the saddle. Reach down. Minimum two turns, go. Power and speed right here, come on. You're holding on to the resistance. Listen carefully. I'm not going to ask you to get out of the saddle again. So you're in the saddle for the rest of the song. Push your pace, come on, push. the tension in the core, in the glutes. Keep the tension out of your jaw and your face. Eight more. Come on, push down. Six. One more. Three. Two. Back to the beat. Just ride. One, two. One, two. Back to the beat. Hold it right here. Come on. You're feeling the heaviness. You're not letting it weigh you down. Reach down. Minimum three turns to the left. Minimum three turns to the left. Find the beat right here. Hands are down, shoulders wide. And you're holding right here. You're a little bit lighter, but you're not on zero. You're about three turns from zero. Finding the beat right here. This is where speed comes into play. It feels good here. How does it feel in second? Rise up. Oh, it feels fast now that you're out of the saddle. Come on, let's go. In second position, your elbows hug in. You pinch your shoulder blades back so that your chest stays open. Push your heels down. Eight more here. Six. Four, three, in the saddle, hand center, push your pace. Come on, go. Hand stay center, push your pace in the saddle, go. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Anything more you can give me, come on. Final four counts. Final three. Two. Back to the feet, nice and easy. Find it, find it. Here we go, come on. Four more. In three, we're up to second. Two. Back up to second. Let's go. Up, up. Nice, light touch of the hands. Back of the elbow, shining forward. Eight more here. In six, you hold it out in third. Four. Three. Slide the hands up in third. Just ride. Come on. Hips stay high and back. Legs stay long. 
Come on, fight to keep the speed. Come on, let's go. Every exhale, let it out of your mouth. Let the heat out of the lungs. Come on. Back to second. Rise up. Come on. Almost to the final four. Three. In the saddle, hand center. Speed up your legs. Go. Speed up your legs. Gonna bring you right to this new beat. Keep speeding up. Come on. Find it. Come on. Your hands are center. Palms pressing together. You're finding this new quicker beat. One, two, one, two, one, two. You're on a flat road. So that can be right where you ended the last song or one more turn to the left. Elbows, push them down, let's go. Two right, two left, let's go. Single count, right, left, give it to me for eight. Six, four, three, two, rapid fire, right, left, go right, left. One more, three, two, hands wide, just ride. Just ride, sit taller. Send the energy from the crown of the head all the way through the back to the tailbone. Four more here. In three, you have the option to come out of the saddle. Priority is a leg speed, hold it here or bring it up. If you're not able to hold the speed of the legs, then drop it back in the saddle. Priority is always the legs. Come on. One more. Three. Two. In the saddle, rapid fire. Get back to it. Rapid fire, double each way. Let's go. Hey. Singles, rapid, for eight, six, four, three, hands wide, hold, squeeze the inner thighs together, you're holding on to this beat, and your knees are tracking over the big toes, come on, stay here, or stretch your hands up to third position, keep your butt in the saddle, pull the ribs in, with every exhale, you have to pull the belly in so you don't knee yourself with your thigh. The top of your shoulders melt down. Your arms are long and you're trying to hug the elbows in. Back of the elbow, shining to the sky. Stretch your spine. Eight count push of your pace. Go eight. Six. Four. Three. Back to the beat, back to the beat. Let's go, one, two, one, two. Either bring your hands back or up to third. Lift the butt for an eight. Six. Come on, get it, four more. Three. Two. Get in the saddle, take two turns to the right, slow down your legs. Two turns to the right, slow down. Ride underneath the beat. This is your recovery before the next track. Final eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. Slow it down. Keep your resistance right where you left off. Challenge yourself with the resistance. Right here, reach down, add a little bit more. Hold for eight. Only holding for seven. Come on. Dig into it. Six. Holding the beat with the feet. Five. Halfway. One more. Three. Two. Take that resistance off. Rise up to third. Come on. Let the lightness travel through your body. So you 
feel that resistance to be lifted off of your body. So chin and chest grab, neck wall, come on. Back in the saddle, hold. Reset your neutral spine. Watch the knees, watch the inner thighs. Squeeze everything center. We have that resistance challenge. Reach down, add a few turns for each. Seven, you're fighting the resistance. Six, if you don't feel a challenge, reach down, add another two turns. Come on, final four, and then we bring it back. down with the resistance, up to third, come on. Working on that speed, working on the cadence, holding the tempo up to third. Keep pressing through the palms to engage the side body. So press down through the palms, press down through the shoulders. Here we go, come on, each. Six. Four more. Three, keep the resistance in the saddle. Push your face for eight. Come on, push for six. Final four. Three, two. Start to slow it down, yes. down. Minimum three to four turns to the right. Minimum three to four turns to the right. These next two songs are the biggest climbs I want you to find in this ride. You have a climb, you have a hill, and then you'll be running. So find the beat, it's slow. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. If three to four turns, Arch is up. Reach down. Don't waste your time. as your recovery, you're using this as an opportunity to strengthen the muscles that are used more in the saddle. So you're feeling the inner thighs, you're feeling the outer glutes. You're not using your upper body to help you push the pedals like in, up in her. Stay here or reach the hands long, pull in the belly. Untuck the tailbone, push the palms far. Stable, little push of your pace. Let's go. This little push is going to remind you to keep your ribs pulling up and in. Chin slightly tucked. Come on, let's go. For eight. Push for six. One more. Three. Two. Hands back to second. Back to the feet in the saddle. Back to the feet in the saddle. Let's go. Reach down, two or three turns more. Come on, let's go. You only have one minute left of this track. After this track, we're going to be going slightly slower and we'll feel better. Come on. Boy, more here. In three, push your pace in third. Two, use their whole body, push it up in third. Come on. Push. Push, come on. Anything over the beat, anything that makes you uncomfortable, that's how you know you're right. If you're feeling uncomfortable, go for it, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, find your power, find your cadence, eight more. Final six, four, three, in third, back to the beat, hold it, one, two, one, two, back to the beat in third, recover. Lengthen your legs, stretch the back of the knees. Arms are long, jaws relaxed, 
tongue is away from the roof of your mouth. In the sound. Find the beat. There we go. Come on.
30 seconds, come on. Hold on to it. Squeeze the inner thighs. Lengthen the arms, pull in the ribs. Come on, final eight. Seven. Six. Halfway, final four. Three. Two. In the saddle, slow it down. Good job. Reach down and add a few huge turns to the right. So we have two arm parts. Keep your legs moving, slow down your heart rate. This ride, speed resistance, okay? So the first arm track, all about that resistance using weights. Second, shorter, it's about speed without any weights. So without further ado, either seated or standing up. Start with the biceps in front of your body, up. So if you're standing, your ear, shoulders, hips are aligned. If you're sitting, your ear, shoulders, hips are aligned. If you're seated, stop your legs and stabilize the hips. Should be using weights for this part. If you have super heavy weights, then just slow down the motion or alternate the arms. Every time you exhale, you need to contract the lowest part of the abs where the waistband and the pubic bone meet. Same thing, hammer curl, thumb to the ceiling. You're stopping at 90 degrees. You're keeping your elbows in 90 degrees when you go down. Four more. Three. Two. Hold the elbows down. Pull the elbows back. Reset. Pull back. I want you to find the motion and the mobility that you have in the chest and the shoulder blades. One more. Three. Two. Hinge slightly forward. Alternate the arms. Go right. Then left. Go right. Go left. Keep it going. Going right. Go left. Right. Stretch to the crown of the head forward. Let's go. Working triceps on the way back, biceps on the way in. Come on. Pulling the ribs in, pressing the straight arm back. Eight more. Six. Four more. In three, you have overhead tricep. Two. Both arms overhead, sit tall. Shoulders down, either one or two weights. Slowly, elbows go down. Then up, forearms go down. Exhale and pull the ribs in, come on. This is all about power. All about power so that when we get to the speed, your muscles are ready to fail and fatigue. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you push. Let's go, let's go. Final eight. Six. Four more. Three. Two. Hinge forward. Elbows come to the side. Row up, then down. Row up, then down. If you have heavy weights, you can alternate. So just doing one arm and then switching other, okay? Either way, you're hinging forward. Elbows are bent 90 degrees. Lift up. Palms are facing behind you. Up. Up. Four more. Three. Two. Palms face each other, alternate flies. Go up. Palms face each other, alternate slow. Let's go. Soft bend to the elbows. As you lift up, the top of the shoulders melt down. You're feeling the opening of the pectoral muscles, the engagement of the back. Eight more, come on. Six more sets. Come on, 
Title IV. Title three, big exhales every time. Final two. Last set right here. Good, put the weights back. That was resistance. Now it's speed, elbows in, out. Pinkies rotate in, yes.
Your final jog after this, you have a climb and run. Eight more, come on. In six, you have to add resistance in the saddle. Four, three, two. In the saddle, hold the beat, add a turn, breathe. Six, four, three. You added one turn. Hold on to the feet up in third. Come on. Little exhales out of the mouth every time. Four more. Three. Keep the hips high. Two count. Travel back. Go. Back. Back. When you come forward, the knees still stay behind the resistance knob. The hips are lifting and leaving this motion. Four more. Three. Two. Add two turns in the saddle. Go. Go. Two turns to the right. Let's go. Holding the beat in the saddle. Make sure those two turns counted. Come on. On my couch, you add more resistance. Get to the heaviest point where you can comfortably hold this beat in four. In three, two, get to the point where you're comfortably able to hold on to the beat, but it's a little struggle. Final four. Three, two, hold your resistance that lead us to our final climb. Right here, find it, come on. You should be good with the resistance. It's a slower song. And that means we're gonna keep climbing. That slower pace is an opportunity to use this resistance how we're supposed to use it to challenge ourselves. Okay, so dig into those pedals. Make sure your starting point is at a good spot. You're feeling a little struggle, but you're still, you're still comfortable with the challenge. Get there. 
reach your left hand over to the right palm on the toes. Try to open up the chest. Depending on your arm um, leg ratio, this might feel different for different people. If you're hinging forward, like I have to hinge forward because my legs are long, I'm still trying to lift my belly off of my thighs. Find a deeper twist. Take that same right leg. Find your half pigeon up out of the saddle. Every exhale, you're allowing your hip to open up by pressing the right knee down. Noticing if you're holding on to any tension here. That's a huge energy block for so many of us. So let it go, and this stretch is not enough for you. Continue to stretch after. Flip the right foot back in. Switching sides. The left foot comes up. Flex the foot, square the hips. Right hand reaches over. If you're having to hinge forward, pull the ribs in. Pull the belly away from the thigh. Take a deeper twist if you want. Coming to your half pigeon with this leg. Try to notice how this side feels different, if it does. And after class, if the side does feel different or the other side feels different, spend a little extra time doing that side when you find your future stretches. Unclip both legs off of the bike. Come to the side. Reach your right elbow up. Left hand grabs the elbow side bend to the left. Other side. Bend the left elbow stretch to the right. Clasp your hands behind your back. Press your palms together. Open up your chest. Squeeze your palms together. Extend your arms even more. Pinch your shoulder blades together. And then melt the top of the shoulders down away from the ears. Holding for four. Holding for three. Two. Gently release the palms. Bend the elbows. Reach your arms all the way up. Mini back bend. Cactus your arms. Then hands come heart center. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Anthony. I'll see you again soon.